What's up, Pick Redirect family members? How are you? It's Jason Cush here. I got uh, Rob Mercado on here, Tarlise, and we have a special, special webinar for you tonight. We're going to learn all about Instagram. And talking with Tarlise, I got chills just learning about Instagram. It's crazy. It's one social network that I've never, ever got a lot of great experience with. You know, Facebook, G+, all the, all the typical, but Instagram's always been that one little one that I just haven't nailed down. So tonight, make sure you have a pen and paper and be ready. We have a great power packed webinar for, uh, for you tonight. And with that being said, I'm gonna pass it off to Rob and then we'll get right into the uh, golden nuggets with uh, Tarlis. Awesome, and uh, Jason, uh, I'm pumped up. Before we actually came up on, came out on the Hangout tonight, folks, you know, Jason and I and Tar Tarlis was just listening, but Jason and I were like, he's excited to learn about Instagram. And I was like, me too. Because we, we all focus on, you know, certain social platforms, Facebook and maybe Twitter a little bit, uh, like the main ones. But while everyone is, you know, focused on one, uh, you know, even Tarlise was saying it, you know, I'm focused on this and, and doing really, really well with it. And uh, I just love the abundant mindset that she has because there's times that we have so much value and we have secrets and we have our ways of doing our marketing and we limit how much of that we share. That's one mindset. But her mindset, she said, listen, I want to give out all the information that I know. Why not? Because it, it's all in the mindset. If you believe there's enough for us all, uh, there truly is. And I'm listening. I'm going to learn tonight. Folks, uh, Tarlise Rodeau uh, is simply a powerhouse, you know, when it comes to social media. And, uh, you know, she has a unique and a powerful approach to social media, uh, as well as a home-based business success. Uh, she began marketing on Instagram literally as a complete accident, and I'll, I'm not going to steal her thunder away, um, but she has literally a following of 20,000 people, probably maybe over that by now, uh, and due to the enormous response you know, from her posts and you know, with inquiries of how does she do this, she literally said, well, let me put together a presentation and share my knowledge with people who are willing to learn. And Tarlise, Jason, and I, we all spoke, and we said, you know, we only choose the best of the best in each of the social media platforms. And Pick Redirect members, you know, we did the webinar with Facebook. We did the webinar, you know, a few other webinars with social platforms. And you know we only bring the best gurus, uh, you know, on here. So uh, without further ado, Tarlise, I'm so pumped, excited. We are as well. Uh, I'm actually, I have my notepad open to take notes. Uh, and uh, I'm just ready to learn. So, folks, if you're here, be excited that you're here, uh, you know, and, and really take in as much as you possibly can because she's here to deliver. Question is, are you here to receive? So, Tarlise, thanks again so much for willing to share with our community, and uh, the floor is yours. Thanks so much again. Can you guys hear me okay? Loud and clear, yep. All right, well, thank you for having me. I'm stoked to be here. Um, you know, like you said, I started out on Instagram as a complete accident. I was just sharing my life, doing what I do. I like to think I'm pretty cool. <laughs> I think I'm a little cooler than most of the times, but I just was sharing what I was doing on a day-to-day -day basis, and I happened to be in a network marketing company. And so I was just sharing, you know, I sell shakes, and I was sharing some shake recipes, just completely going about my normal life, and all of a sudden, I start getting sales and I was like, how is this happening? Okay, hey, I just ordered your product off Instagram. Hey, I just ordered your product off Instagram. And as that started happening day after day, I thought, hmm, I think I'm up to something. And so as I did more and more webinars like this, it always the webinar always ended and they said, do you have a product? And I said, well, no, should I? I guess I should, huh? And so that's how, you know, I created a product called Insta Influence, and it's really teaching people how to snap, share, and get your brand out there. So what I want to start this by, I'm going to give a bunch of slides and show a bunch of stuff, but guys, I want you to be really present throughout all this. And the reason that I'm saying this is that I do a bunch of webinars, I'm probably on three to four a week, and I can't tell you how many people are stoked and fired up after the webinar, and I took so many pages of notes, and then I go and look at their Instagram accounts later, and they haven't taken any action. They haven't done any of the action steps that I've given them, and their excitement is all of a sudden gone because they didn't get it. So one thing that I really ask you guys to do is be present, take some notes. It doesn't matter if you get one thing or 10 things out of this. 
take action after this. I mean, I'm going to try to pack as much as I can into it, but guys, there's so much to learn, and I'll explain why when we go into the um, slides, but I'm telling you, if you guys take at least one or two of these tips, you can start increasing your engagement, getting your brand out there, and most importantly, I mean, let's be honest, we want to learn how to grow our network and make money. So are you guys ready? Robert, I'm going to ask you if you can see my screen, though. Okay, no problem. Because you got a lot of comments, by the way, already. She is seriously the best I have ever seen with Instagram. Tarlise is the queen of Instagram. Super pumped. Hi there, Steve. Susan in the house. Hey, Gary here. <laughs> San Antonio. I'm so excited for this. Guys, You, I, I love the energy in this room all the time. You guys are oh, awesome. Can you see my screen right now? Uh, right now it's still on your video, like, you know, yeah. your camera. Um, okay, one second. <laughs> I love tech now. I might be good at Instagram. I'm not good at Hangouts. <laughs> I love it. Okay, one more sec. Here we go. Share my screen with you guys. There we go. Okay, how about now? Can you see my screen? Hmm, it's still on the camera. Maybe if you try... I know screen share gives a few options. Uh, maybe it, maybe try one of the other ones. Um, whether it's I, I think it's there you go. There you go. oh there we go. Oh you got it. Okay cool nice there we go. All right. So all right now can you see my screen? Awesome looks great. Okay. So this is um, my my product that I have that I'm going to share with you guys. And like Robert said, guys, if I know some sort of information, I'm going to share with you. Granted, I'm not going to be able to share everything with you, but I guarantee by the time you guys get off of this webinar, you are going to leave with some money-making tips to grow your engagement like you would not believe. So. Guys, every single time I get on my phone, I have a bunch of people following me, a bunch of engagement, a lot of, of comments, and reason being, I set myself up for success from the beginning. I do not treat Instagram like, I mean, granted, most of my posts are personal, but I treat this as another marketing campaign. I treat it as how, what would I be interested in if I were looking at my account? So just to tell you guys really quick, and I'm not going to talk about me very long, but who am I? Like, okay, I'm on this webinar, Robert. Why should I listen to this chick? Who is she? Well, I'm an entrepreneur. I'm a network marketer. I'm a social media expert and a radio show host. And I put remind me to tell you that story later. Guys, when I first got started in social media and in my current business, I had no idea what I was doing. I was actually just let go of my job. I was negative $78 in my bank account. And to get into my current business opportunity, I actually sold my bed to pay for my kit. So if I had to sell my bed to get my kit, how am I going to pay for network marketing? I mean, how am I going to pay for social media marketing? I can't afford ads. I can't, you know, afford to hire a coach to help me. So I had to learn it on my own. So these things that I'm telling you through Instagram, or if I mention, you know, connecting it to Facebook or anything, guys, these aren't things that I think work. These are tried and true. I fall on my face. I've I've made a bunch of mistakes. Now I'm here to share my, you know blunders, if you will, with you and teach you guys how to not make the same mistakes. So first of all, let's let's get the important stuff out of the way. I want to connect with you. So my username is Tarlise underscore Rideau. Now don't get on the on your Instagram right now, guys. I want you to be paying attention to this, but you should have a notepad, so write Tarlise underscore Rideau so that you can follow me. So Instagram. I hear this every single day. Like, what? Isn't that pictures of babies and puppies? Like, come on. There's no way that you can make money off of that. And that is what I love. Guys, when you look at Instagram, you know, what is it? Well, Instagram's a fun way for you to share your pictures with your friends through, you know, taking snapshots. You pick a cool filter and you pop it up there. Wow. Okay, Charlie, when are you going to get to the money making part? Well, guys, Instagram statistics are growing leaps and bounds. I guarantee you that when I made this slide earlier, the stats have gone up even since there. There's 200 million active users, you guys, and 65% of the users are outside of the United States. So if you guys have international business, I'm telling you, you know how on Facebook they say, only post at this time, or these are the optimal times. The coolest thing about Instagram, you guys, is you can get your business out any time of the day. I get just as much engagement at 2 o'clock in the morning sometimes as I get at 10 in the afternoon. Reason being, it's nationwide, it's worldwide, it's global, and there's a bunch of people that 
you know when they say a picture's worth a thousand words? It really is. Have you ever been on Facebook and you're scrolling and you look at someone's picture and then you look at another picture and before you know it, it's like an hour later and you're scrolling through those albums? That's what I want to teach you how to do. I want to teach you guys to be that one account on Instagram when people are scrolling and scrolling and they stop on yours and they're stuck and they're mesmerized. So do you guys remember show and tell when you were little? You brought an item or a picture or something, and you stood in front of the class, and people oohed and awed, and they were so excited. Guys, that's what this is. Instagram is your show and tell. You know, more and more as I get engulfed into this, I hear, oh, visual mobile marketing is so cool right now. It's the hip thing. Guys, we've been using visual and mobile marketing since we were little. Nothing's changed. Only thing that's changed is the platform. So Forbes magazine recently said that Instagram is shaping up to be the world's powerful selling tool. Now I want to spend a minute saying this. So guys, while everyone else is saying, I don't understand Instagram, you can't make money on Instagram, oh it's not going to work, I'll stick with Facebook, Forbes magazine is saying that it's shaping up to be the world's most powerful selling tool. Now pay attention guys, I'm going to give you guys some very specific tips and during this don't get overwhelmed, I'm going to stop and I'm going to say now this is a money making tip. I'm going to tell you guys exactly how I make money, exactly how I build my list and exactly how I get engagement. So as I'm going through this presentation when I say this is a money making tip please pay attention. So regardless if you guys are on this Google Hangout, it doesn't matter if you're a stay at home mom, a network marketer, brick and mortar business internet sales, it does not matter. What matters is that you're snapping your picture, sharing it, and getting your brand in front of people. So now that you Instagram, understand Instagram, I want to show you some simple strategies. So first of all, your profile. Guys, don't let Instagram overwhelm you. A lot of people say, I don't know where to start, I don't know what to do. It's really simple. This is your hub. This is your news feed, if you will. It's going to show you how to get, view your pictures. You can search. We're going to go into this in later slides, so don't get overwhelmed. But guys, get really familiar with this. Don't worry. You're not going to break anything. If you accidentally post the picture, you can always delete it. If the filter doesn't look cool or you don't get enough likes, that's all right. But get comfortable with what you're doing. One thing that I've learned in business is time is money. And so if you know how to use Instagram, if you understand your profile and you know everything about it, you can get on there, not waste time, not have to fumble and figure it out, and you can get your content in front of more people. Now guys, your bio is your lifeline. That is that is where it all starts and begins. And a lot of you, and I know because I look at many Instagram profiles every day, is guys, you're not telling people who you are or what you're about on your bio. This is the first thing that people see when they find you on Instagram. So my question to you guys is, what are you sharing with the world? What are you letting people know? So my account's kind of all over the board, reason being, I tell people exactly what I want them to see. I sell health and wellness products, so I let them know I'm a fitness lover, I'm a health food junkie, I'm an entrepreneur, so they know when I'm trying to sell them stuff or when I'm putting up a link to buy stuff, they're not like, whoa, I was just trying to watch this chick, you know, because she's into healthy eating. Well, no, I'm an entrepreneur. Here's how you can get my free Instagram training. I let them know what to expect, and from there, they can decide if they're going to want to follow me or not. Now, money-making tip, guys. You need to put a link to either your personal website or an additional social media source. I can't tell you how many people have a, a website up there or don't have a website up there, and people don't know where to find them. Now, last thing you want to do, and I call this the car lot method, is the last thing you want to do is post an awesome picture with your product where people are like, man, I really want that. That's awesome. And then they look at your bio and there's nowhere for them to go. There's no call to action and there's no website. So money making tip guys, if you want to get your hands, if you want people to get their hands on your product, where are you going to send them? You need to put your link to your website in your profile. And as you guys can see, I have a bit.ly link there and I'm going to tell you exactly why. I'm able to track every single link that comes from my Instagram account. I'm able to track every single prospect, every single person that gets on my list, and I can tell you what time, where, what country they're coming from, exactly what's going on, and I can also find out what picture it is that they're talking about. So guys, who are you? You know, this is something that after this webinar you really want to spend a few minutes and think about 
who am I, what do I want to bring up to the world? So th these are a couple examples, but guys, a lot of you have your profiles public. Please remember, if you have your profile public, that's like going to a restaurant and they have their clothes sign on the door. Are you going to walk into that restaurant? No, because you assume it's closed. So if you're putting your profile as private, you have a big red, you know, red flag up there saying, no, don't come in here, don't come in here. Also, if you guys are using hashtags, which is a lifeline, which I'm going to go over in just a minute, but if you guys are using hashtags for people to find you and to make your, your picture searchable, guess what's not available if your profile's private? Your hashtags. So pretty much what you're doing if you guys have a private profile is you're not allowing anyone to see anything. You're pretty much just sharing it with your friends. Now, some of you have children. I personally don't. But if you have children or you're thinking, you know, I post a lot of really personal stuff. I don't want to put that on there. Guys, create a separate account just for your business. This is essential because if you have a close sign on your door, you're not getting business, period. So these are my two separate profiles. I have two different profiles. Which one are you going to be more compelled to connect with? Are you going to want to connect with someone that says, get network marketing Instagram training here, and it tells what I'm about, or do you want one that just says my name with nothing? I'll tell you guys who I'm going to find. I'll tell you guys who I'm going to follow. And so this is something that just opens people up, lets them know what you're about, and lets them know you're a real person. So. This is um, really, really important, guys. Make sure that you are using a call to action, that you are telling people what to do. So for instance, I rotate this all the time because I'm always sending people to a different offer. But the cool thing about internet marketing, network marketing, work from home, being an entrepreneur you know, as it is, is today I could put a link to this webinar. Tomorrow I could be trying to build my fan page and I could send people to my fan page. The next day I could have a, a special going on on my website and I could send them to my website. Guys, I'm using calls to action and I'm constantly telling them what I want them to do. People are used to getting um, directions. You know, if you're in a nine to five job, you get your lunch at this time, you get here at this time, and you leave at this time. So why not tell people what you want them to do? Just because we're entrepreneurs doesn't mean that we shouldn't give people a little direction. So I tell people get free training here, click here to join my Facebook group. Click this link to do X, Y, Z. These are things that will make or break you if you plan on doing business on Instagram. Now, I'm guys, to, yeah. I'm so sorry. I, I, I'm trying to contain myself right now, but are you guys getting this? Are you guys? I, I see the comments, and you guys are pumped and excited, and she hasn't even, like, tipped the iceberg. <laughs> but what I've learned, as much success that I've had on Facebook, I've learned that it's the simple things that most people are not doing, like Steve. You mentioned, you know, uh, people. most people don't put their profile in public. It's on private. And as Tarlise mentioned it, I mean, that's huge. Not only that, I, I got to say personally, I love the icons that you put next to each, you know, um, you know, bullet point describing yourself. Folks, the truth of the matter is we hear it all the time that people got to like you and trust you before they even do anything with you. They buy a product or they join a business with you. Just with that main profile picture that Tarlise has, I probably know more about her than somebody who just met her, of course, or, or you know, that, that may, you know, it, there's so much information about her there that I feel more comfortable. Oh, wow, she's into this. Oh, wow, she's into that. And I, quick, quick note, Tarly, you got to tell me how you get the hand uh, facing down to the link. That is epic. Actually, <laughs> you got a hand. <laughs> it worked. Okay, so so just to let you guys know, and Robert, you're going to have to let me know, maybe jump in on time, because I do have the full screen, and I realize that my phone's in the other room, so if I'm blabbing, just say, hey, Tarlise, we're at whatever time, because I, I want to make sure that I get you guys all this information, because I'm telling you there's some amazing tips in this, so you might have to keep me on track, <laughs> just let you know. <laughs> Okay, Lab but on. just to, Lab on. <laughs> just to let you guys know, though. Okay, so these little um, these little uh, symbols and phones and books, those are called emoji. And um, on iPhones, it used to be an app. Apparently, with the newest updates, it's something that comes in your text that that's available. Um, there are separate several different apps on the Android that do similar things. It's called E M O J I. So look for free emoji. It's a free app, and it just it. It adds something, and I do have a lot of males that are like, I'm not putting fruit and hearts on my stuff. Well, you don't have to, but I'd strongly suggest 
that you at least tell people who you are. And if you guys will notice, it's also stacked. If you do not do, what I do is I put it in the notes section of my phone so that it's stacked. I cut it from the notes section of my phone and put it that way. If you do not do it in the notes section of your phone, it's just going to run on from left to right just as you read. That's my own personal preference. Here's the thing. If you just let it run on, um, it doesn't seem like as much content, even though it's the same amount of characters. If you stack it like that, it grabs your attention and people are like, whoa, this girl just put a lot of stuff. Not a lot of people do it, so it sets you apart from the crowd. So another thing is, guys, you want to create compelling content. You want to make stuff that like people are like, oh, cool, what's that picture? So on, on the left, for instance, I'm a girl, I take selfies, let's just face it, it happens. But I was trying to be cute and take a selfie, and I ended up taking eight. As I looked at my phone, I was laughing, I was like, you know what, I could post one selfie on Instagram, or I could post these eight together and make fun of myself. So what I did was I said, hey guys, is it just me, or does everyone else have to take eight takes? That's one of my most liked pictures. People like went crazy over it, because they're like, oh man, I can't take one, or you should ask my wife, haha. -ha. It's little things like that that sets you apart so you want to utilize any free apps and I'll, I'll make sure I know that I'm in the pick redirect group I will put out a list of apps that I use for you guys as well guys you have to set yourself apart from what everyone else is doing everyone can snap a selfie and put it up there cool how are you gonna set yourself apart so see these are three images that I use so like I took a beautiful picture of the sky and I was like hmm how can I make this stand out I sell health and wellness product so that's cool but how can I go a step above everyone else that sells health and wellness products I'm gonna go into a free app I'm gonna tell people what it is and I'm gonna give them the recipe below see little things like this that literally take one to two minutes are the things that are going to get shared. You, have you ever seen that positive quote that goes viral? These are the kind of things that go viral. A shake is not going to go viral. No one cares. A shake that looks delicious with a recipe below that you want to try is like, oh, hey, I'm going to share this. I'm going to repost it. And so it's these little things that really set yourself out as part from the crowd. So a few of my favorite apps are Over and InstaQuote. Guys, Positive quotes get shared more than anything, so why not make sure that if you're going to make something, you make it your own. As you guys can see on the bottom of all these quotes that I made, I put my name on it. That way, if everyone wants to share all of my stuff, that's cool. I love it. It still has my stuff on it. If you see the picture of the coffee right there, if you were scrolling through Instagram and you saw a picture of coffee, would you care? No, you'd be like, awesome, so thank you for the picture of your coffee. But if I'm like, wow, check out this peanut butter mocha, blah, 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 and I put the recipe below, guess who all of a sudden is getting sales for my product? Now, if you guys are watching this and saying, that's awesome for you, it has nothing to do with me, don't worry, I have a bunch of examples for you guys. So these are another three apps that I love. Word Swag, the middle one is called The Beautiful Mess, and the third one is called Rana Designs. Now guys, if you're wondering, gosh, this doesn't tell me how to make money, I don't care about apps, the number one question that I'm asked, and I work with thousands of people on Instagram, thousands, is what kind of apps, how can I do this, what kind of app, what kind of app, what kind of app. So guys, this is a huge deal because it sets you apart. As you can see, these little things were made in a minute or so, but they're stuff that gets people stopping. They're, it's stuff that people are like, wow, that's really interesting. I'm interested in that. Let me look a little bit more and see what this Charlie's Girl is about. Here's another app, Word Swag. Guys, all I did, and I'm so lazy these days, I push Surrey and I speak into it. So I said, I love network marketing, and it does this. The app does all of this for me. You don't need to get overwhelmed. You don't need to feel like someone else makes something cool and you don't. Guys, the only thing that's holding you back from creating compelling content on Instagram is you. Just get out there. And like I said, if you don't like it or it didn't get enough likes for you, delete it. So these are just a couple other examples, guys. But see, this is the kind of stuff that stands out to people. Now, one thing that I do want to mention is watermark your stuff with your website or your username. These are pictures of me that got shared by thousands of people, and I didn't have my name on it. This is another picture of me. 
see, you don't have to put it all blatant and crazy, but guys, if your stuff's going to get shared, so say you make a really cool quote or you use, you put something out that you're really proud of, could you imagine if it went viral and your name's nowhere to be found on it? So here's a couple more examples of the same kind of thing. Now, I really asked you guys, this is a minute where I asked you to kind of take a second and say, all right, this is a lot to take in, but after I get off this webinar, what's one thing that I can create that's kind of going to set me up? What's what, you know, I sell these products or I do this service. I'm a coach. How can I set myself apart from all the other coaches out there? Well, using calls to action. You want to get eyeballs on your account? Have put up an image and I made this image that says tag someone who has motivated you to improve your life. And Robert, you're really good at this. Like getting other people engaged and having someone tag someone. Oh my gosh, it go like I can't even tell you how many times I do this and it's just 5, 10, 15, 20 people tagging a friend and then that friend tags someone else and that friend tags someone else. So using calls to action. Once again, just like I mentioned on the bio tag someone who's motivated you double tap if fitness has changed your life now for those of you guys that don't know what double tap is if you're scrolling through Instagram on your phone and you hit the picture twice it's going to create a little heart on it what that means is that you just quote unquote liked the picture so when you're double tapping you're liking so if you're telling people double tap if you worked out today because I'm in health and wellness double tap you know I just posted a picture of books recently. Double tap if you got your, uh, you know, personal development in today. The the possibilities are absolutely endless. But what you're doing is you're creating a call to action. People love being told what to do. The same as the profile. So if you're telling people double tap if tag someone, all this does, you guys, is this gets more eyeballs onto your account. And I don't know about you, but the more people that see what I have going, the better I feel and the more money I make. So one thing that's really important is sharing lifestyle photos. Now, I hate to say this and I hate to put our industry down, but there's a lot of pictures in, as entrepreneurs in general, that's flashing money, money in, in your mouth, stacks of hundreds of stuff. Guys, that attracts the wrong crowd. If you really want to attract people and get them interested in what you're doing, share some lifestyle pictures. Like this picture right here is I was like, one of my newest routines is riding my beach cruiser to Starbucks. I always take pictures when I'm at the airport. I always check in and, and I always let people know what I'm up to. If I'm at the beach, I make sure to grab a picture of me on the beach you know, and all you have to do is say, hey, I'm so lucky to be working from the beach again. Guys, if you're an entrepreneur and you're listening to this or you would like to be, we're pretty fortunate to be able to somewhat create our own schedules. And even if you're not, guys, share a picture of your awesome office. If you're like, Charlize, I just want to learn how to make money off of this, but I'm in a cubicle all day. What's your office up to? What's, give them a sneak peek to your inside life. Don't, don't discredit yourself. You know, I'm going to go into contests and giveaways in just a minute, but one thing that I really want to express to you guys is, guys, no matter where you are in this, no matter if you are just starting an Instagram account or you're brand new online or you don't even have a business, it does not matter. Everyone has something special to bring to the world. And so think of something like, do you know how to make a really great pot pie? Awesome. Share some pictures in the recipe. Like it doesn't matter. But one thing that, um, you know, was brought up is, that people love seeing that you're a real person. And the reason that I make sales every single day from Instagram is because I show five to six pictures of my personal life, and then when I do sell them, people love me so much that they're like, heck yeah, I wanna buy whatever she's, whatever she's selling. So I, although this is all about how to make money, guys, don't spam and pitch and push every single day. Think of ways that you can contribute. Think of tips that you can give. Think of advice that you can, you know, if, if you're an expert in an area, or you know what, even if you're not an expert, give props to someone else and say, man, I was on this great webinar the other day and this is what I learned. Just share your everyday experience. But what a lot of people do after these webinars is they say, oh, well, I don't travel all the time or I work in a cubicle or I don't have you know, the same luxuries you do. Guys, everyone has something to offer. So I really want to, whatever lifestyle photo, quote unquote, is to you, share that. Just like was mentioned at the beginning of this, people love 
feeling like you're a human being. They love the connection. They don't want to constantly be sold. But I'll tell you what, when I do sell something, it flies off the shelves like hotcakes because people are like, yes, I love Charlie. She's a real human being. That goes right into don't make your profile all about business. Ask some questions. I ask what book are you reading right now? I just ordered this. If you're asking people to engage with you, if you're asking their opinion, it, you know, Robert, you are fantastic about this. I have to admit on Facebook, it's like I'm always checking out your profile because you're constantly engaging people and asking them what's happening. You know, it's one thing to just constantly post, 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 post. Who cares? It's all about me. But when you're sharing the love and you're asking the opinions of others, guys, it makes people want to log in and go see what else you posted. I can't tell you how many people will say, Charlize, I just got on Instagram today and I just wanted to see what you had to say because I'm always posting something of value. Now create curiosity. So when I was with Vicellis, for instance, I use this as an example, I got to go to this top secret ambassador meeting that I was so excited about. Another one on, on the, the side, here's what's happening at my house and I have all the camera, the camera equipment. The one on the left, another video. Guys, create curiosity. If you're trying to bring people into your business, you want them to go, wait, what's what's Charlie's posting a video about? Wait, what is she doing? Hold on, what's going on? You know, if you're in a mastermind, if you're out to lunch with some leaders, you really want to bring people into your world and create curiosity. Because as someone at, starts asking questions, you can say, oh, I'm glad you asked. Here's what I'm making a video for. Oh, I'm glad you asked. Here's why I'm at the airport. Oh, I'm glad you asked. Here's why. Guys, it's all about the engagement. You know, one thing that I have to bring up is a lot of people approach me and they say, I just want a software. Can you just give me a software that does all this? Could I? Sure. But here's the thing. What if that software crashed or what if something, you know, went down? Don't you want to have the skills that teach you no matter what platform, no matter what? where you're constantly attracting people to your profile and that's what I want to do here's another thing sharing the laptop lifestyle if you guys are, see these things I'd rather see something like this like a travel confirmation that has no money amount on it or a success story from a team that doesn't have any dollar bills having to be shown but you're creating uh, you know the curiosity and you're letting people know what you're up to there's a way to attract people to your business there's a way to attract people like an absolute magnet without having to be flashy without having to be spammy and just sharing what you're doing every day so another thing is if you guys are in network marketing or if you are in affiliate marketing or whatever I mean Robert you were saying like wow I just won this contest same thing guys, if you're stoked or you have a team member that's doing really well or rank advancing, show congrats for your team. These little things, one, they get your team members stoked so they're more willing to share it. Two, you're showing that you're not just someone that's online saying, oh I'm crushing it, I'm crushing it. Prove it. How do you prove it? You show appreciation for your team, you show rank advancement, you show what other people are doing. So take network marketing out of this. What's something cool that you have going on in your business, in your life, with people on your team that you can share? If it's not a rank advancement, if it's not a network marketing company, it doesn't matter. People love to be nosy. I hate to put it that way, but people watch what you're doing. Just because they're not interacting doesn't mean that someone's not spying on your profile. So if you're constantly showing people advancing, if you're constantly giving props, if you're constantly giving thanks, people are like, whoa, what is Robert up to again? This is crazy. What? He's welcoming another person to his team. He's congratulating another person. He won another contest. How is this going on? Now, don't get me wrong. This isn't something that you need to push in people's face all the time. But, you know, they say recognition. Grown men cry for it and babies die for it. If you think that this approach doesn't work and you're sitting here going, oh, yeah, I'm going to make a ton of money, Charlie's congratulating people on my pictures. Trust me, try it and see how many people are stoked for you. It works because people are so used to me, 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 look at me, look at me, that when you take that, that um, pressure off of you and you start giving props to other people, one, it shows that there's activity on, in your business, but two, it shows that if anyone was ever on the fence about joining your business, they're like, wow. Robert's awesome. I always see him congratulating someone. I always see him, you know, giving props and helping someone else. I really want to be a part of that.
and it goes along with what's your team up to or if you're in an office what's your what's your office up to you create an interest as to why someone would join your team there's a lot of tire kickers in our business there's a lot of people quote unquote on the fence if you're showing uvu calls or skype anything that can validate your business your team your company guys the proof is in the pudding. No one's going to make this stuff up. You can always fudge a screenshot. You can always find a Google image you know, of money online. You can't fake if you're really succeeding and what your team's up to. This has been a game changer for me because I'm constantly showing what's going on in my business. Not in a flashy, salesy, pitchy kind of way, but in a, dude, this is what you could be doing too. And I always say like, I can't believe I get paid for this. It's just simple stuff like that that really makes a difference, guys. This is another one. You know, I, I was like, wow, I can't believe this is home. Once again, take the network marketing aspect out of it. My question to you is, what kind of compelling pictures can you create for you, yourself, and your brand? This is where I want you to really write some notes down and think of, you know what, I want to create one thing today that's going to bring eyeballs onto my attention, onto my account, whether it be a call to action, whether it be asking someone to tag someone, or just you in your natural fun environment, that these are the things that make people want to know more about you. So. The next question is, all right, cool, I created a cool picture, now what? How do I find people? Guys, in your account, you're gonna wanna go to your settings, you're gonna wanna find people, and connect with your Facebook friends. If you're like me, I have 5,000 friends on Facebook, and I tried this in the beginning to connect with them one-on-one, -on -one, and I'll tell you what, it took freaking forever. It was such a pain, and then I realized, wow, I can just tap once in my account and I can find all of my Facebook friends so for those of you that are brand new go to your main page you're gonna click the top little screw on the right you're gonna find people to follow and follow your Facebook friends now one thing that a lot of people bring up to me is they say Charlie's I'm already connected with you know I already have Facebook I already have Twitter I don't want I don't need Instagram guys this is a completely new and separate avenue of traffic for you. I'm going to show you in a couple of slides from now, but guys, I get hundreds and hundreds of leads through Instagram. And you, hey, yeah. Yeah, Tarlise, th this is so exciting. I just want to mention and jump in really quick. Folks, me personally, I this was a breakthrough for me because I always believed that, okay, Facebook is the largest social platform in the planet. And, you know, if people, if whatever you put on Facebook, everyone sees it and that's it. And that's absolutely not true. And I hope this helps other people too as Tarlise is going over this where it's like, oh, I already have Facebook. Do I really need another social platform? Folks, you're, you're, you're pretty much doubling, tripling, quadrupling your business by adding another social platform and a following because it is true that there are people that genuinely and literally just are on Instagram that may not be on Facebook or are on Instagram that may not be on Twitter or any of the other ones. So that was a huge breakthrough for me because I felt, okay, I have a Facebook, everybody's there. Absolutely not true, folks. So if you're on this webinar, I know you're pumped up. I see the comments. I'm taking notes myself. But keep that in mind. Don't be limited. Just like Tarlee said, create that account if you don't have an Instagram account and implement what she's sharing today. Sorry to interrupt, Tarlise. So I'm just pumped. No, no problem. So <laughs> if you if you do if you do want to search for people, once again, go to your home screen. You're going to click the search button. You can search via user or hashtags. Now, guys, hashtags. I want you guys to really pay attention. Pay attention to this part because hashtags are golden for for Instagram. You know, how a lot of people use hashtags on Facebook, and you're like. What's the point of that? Guys, this is how people find you. This is how people find you on Instagram, same as Twitter. So you want to use hashtags that are related to your business, and you want to utilize these to find your target market. So, you know, you sit down and you're like, who do I want my products in front of? You know, who's my target audience? Who do I want buying my product? You're going to search for them. You're going to see what they're posting, what they're interested in. I mean, are you looking for stay-at-home moms? Are you looking for entrepreneurs? Whoever it is, find them search for them and follow them. Now I always, I'm going to show you guys in a second, but guys, hashtags are your friends. Make sure that you're utilizing them to whatever you're trying to bring attention to. So if you're, you know, trying to bring attention to your business, then, you know, you could use business, internet marketing, success. There's a lot of different things that you could use. Please remember though, 
that you, the hashtags that you use are going to be the hashtag, the people that you're attracting. So for this uh, picture, for instance, I remember this day like it was yesterday. I had a crazy long day. I was exhausted. I needed a nap. It was a hard work day. And I decided to go lay on the beach and take a nap. So ideal hashtags would be beach, ocean, sunshine, San Diego. However, from hearing that story and the reason I posted the picture, a lot of people would put tired, exhausted, I need a nap, you get the point. Well, here's what this does. Negative attracts negative. This is one of my students and she was like, Charlize, I'm getting so much spam on all of my business pictures. I'm getting reverse prospected. This is crap. I don't think any of this stuff works. And I said, well, let me show me the picture. What picture are you talking about? Well, if you guys can notice where the red arrows pointed, she's writing, I hate my job. Guess who the vultures are that are coming out of her? All these people are coming after her saying, check out this, look how you can earn residual income. What if you could invest $25? Do you know why? Because she put that out there that she hates her job. So people are assuming that she hates her job and they're spamming her account. So guys, it might seem good at the time, but I really, I mean, this is, this is something pretty uh, serious because you're only allowed a certain number of hashtags per picture. Make sure that you're using hashtags that you want to attract. Because if you're using, I hate my job, I saw her intentions. I know what she was trying to do. She was trying to look for people using that. But in the reverse, now she's getting spammed, I mean, a bunch. This picture only had three, but just people after people are leaving messages because there are bots out there. There are softwares out there that will target specific hashtags. So someone at home has a bot that's targeting every single person that uses I hate my job, and they're just spamming them with their opportunity. So negative attracts negative, and I want you to remember that. And that's another thing is if you are listening to this and you're like, Wow, you know what? I get spammed a lot on Instagram. That might be why. You want to be aware of the hashtag that you're using. Speaking of hashtags, guys, you're only allowed 30 hashtags per picture, maximum. This is one of the most important tips I'm going to tell you, and reason being, it, it leverages your exposure like you would not believe. So I posted a picture eight weeks ago, two months ago, you guys, so it's gone. It's not in the news feed anymore. Well, guess what I do? I bring all my pictures back to life because instead of running through all 30 hashtags at once, I break them up into sections. I break them up into sections of five or six, and what I'll do is I will post one picture with five hashtags. It gets in the news feed, people see it. A week later, I'll come back and I'll add another two hashtag or another five hashtags. What does that do? That puts my picture back in the news feed, and there you go. People can see it again. Then a couple weeks later, I'll go back and do the same thing. I don't do this on all pictures, but you can guarantee if it's a picture related to my business, related to making money, or related to getting my brand out there, I do not use all the hashtags at once. Because this one, for instance, this girl, five weeks later, put the, the hashtag motivated because she was motivated to lose weight, and it pops back up into the news feed. So, Ding, ding, ding. <laughs> what does this tell you? Guys, if you had a picture that you posted, if you're listening to this right now, after this webinar, if you haven't used all 30 of your hashtags, what are a couple of new hashtags that you could add now that are going to bring that back up in the news feed for you? This is a huge deal. It's like repurposing your content. So say you started on Instagram a while ago and you posted something about your picture or about your business and you're like, well, no one liked it. Well, guess what? After this webinar, you can go add a couple more hashtags. It's back up in the news feed and you could potentially get customers and clients now. So it doesn't matter where you started. What matters, just like I said at the beginning, of this is are you going to start taking action now so this is another tip guys don't waste your time time is money do not waste your time constantly uh, typing out your hashtags every single time I save mine in my notes section they're in my notes section because I usually post the same sort of stuff but make a list of you know bunches of five hashtags that you use frequently that way you can just cut and paste every time guys time is money and I don't know about you but I don't have time to sit out and type hashtags every time <laughs> it would drive me batty so that's a great tip for you save it on your phone and save a lot of time now 
Here's how I use my quote unquote competition to gain followers. I hate the word competition because like Robert said in the beginning of this, I don't keep anything a secret. I, I know that you know people are like, you can make so much more money if you, it doesn't matter to me. What matters to me is that I'm helping a lot of people. And so I hate to use the word competition, but let's be honest, it's competition. Say um, you had another Instagram product and you're like, hmm, I wanna see what that Charlize girl's up to. You're gonna go to my profile and you're gonna click following. What it allows you to do is it allows you to scroll through everyone that I'm following. Now keep in mind, not everyone is going to be someone that you relate to, but I guarantee if you look through my following right now, you're going to see some pretty cool people that I am watching for a very specific reason. So I always look at my quote unquote competition and I want to see who they have recently started following, who they're interacting with, who they're maybe tagging, because guys, if your competition's doing it, if they're smart, chances are they're doing it for a reason. I don't know about you guys, although my Instagram is very fun, I post a lot of personal stuff, I'm very calculated about what I put on there. And so I know what my competition is doing, I know what people in other companies are doing, and I know what, the, I know what they're doing because I check it out frequently. So just as Robert said earlier, guys, connect your social media accounts to gain exposure. This is one of the most important tips I can tell you throughout all this because just because someone's on Facebook does not mean that they're gonna be on Instagram and vice versa. So Clean Food Crush is someone that I'm working with closely and she, as you can see here, she posted this one time, it hit her Facebook, her Instagram, and her Twitter all with one post of a picture. Now how cool is that to triple your exposure by posting one picture and all you're doing is hitting the Twitter button and hitting the Facebook button. Guys, if, if this is a step that you're missing or this is a step that you're not taking advantage of, you are missing out. As you can see the picture on the left here guys, these are two of my Facebook friends. So what happened was, you can see this picture I posted, someone called the plumber, these pipes are about to burst. Ha ha, I have really little arms. I thought it was funny. Here's the thing, a lot of other people thought it was funny as well. So Julie and Carla, who are my Facebook friends, happened to like it. They liked a photo on Instagram. Well guess what? Because Julie and Carla have their Instagram accounts connected with Facebook, now when they like my picture on Instagram, it shows up in their news feed. What does that mean, guys? It shows up in their news feed, so not only do I see it, but all of their other Facebook friends see it. So could you imagine if you posted a picture of your product or something that you're trying to sell or your brand, and then one of your random Facebook friends likes it, then one of their friends sees it in their news feed, and then their, you know, it, it's a whole new audience. So not only are you capturing people in your newsfeed, but you're also capturing all of their friends' eyes as well. Once again, I said, people like to be nosy. So if my friend Julie's liking a picture on Instagram, I mean, let's be honest here. <laughs> let's call a spade a spade here. When your, picture, when your friends like pictures or like links or something, don't you always see what they're looking at? <laughs> like, I want to know. I'm like, what's Robert liking? What's, what's, what's you, you know? And so you want to see what other people are doing. And so by connecting the accounts, guys, your, your engagement and your exposure, it goes through the roof. So this is a prime example. This is an old picture, but it happens all the time. So this is a picture that I posted on my Instagram. Jewel, uh, her name's Julie. Blue Eyed Jules is like, hey, I just ordered. I can't wait to try. And I'm like, who is this girl? I don't even know her. She saw it in my newsfeed on Facebook. Had I not clicked that one button to connect the two social media sources, I might not have gotten that sale. So I got a sale off of Facebook, yet I posted the picture on Instagram. Guys, this is a huge deal. The, the link, I put the link in it, and it, although it's not going to be clickable in my picture on Instagram, the link is clickable on Facebook. So I'm not putting any additional effort at. And guys, if, if you can't click one extra button, <laughs> we have a problem here. Just clicking that one extra button gets me sales all day long. Is this important? I mean, is this good information or am I losing you guys? <laughs> oh, Tar Tarlise, this is golden information. I just wanted to say, you know, how much I appreciate you sharing this information for Instagram because I'm just sitting here thinking, I, it's like another Facebook out there that I haven't even touched. I cannot believe that I have not even explored Instagram because I was being almost ignorant in the fact that I didn't really want to learn it. Yep. And 
in seeing what you're doing here, it's just like, wow, I've got a whole new world. And in fact, while you were on there, I was on my phone. I shared, I found my friends from Facebook, and I, and it was only another 500 friends from my Instagram that were, you know, you know, connected to Facebook. But I was like, wow, I just added 500 more people to my Instagram account that with the click of one button. Isn't know, that cool? I mean, this is so golden what you're giving, and I hope to gosh that you have some program that you know you'll share at the end or something that you can. I use. absolutely I, do. I, I mean, this yes. is exciting. I, I'm well, just, thank you. And, and like I said, I'm trying. I don't want you. One thing that I want to bring up is I, I'm trying to kind of hurry because I know there's a lot. I don't want you guys to feel overwhelmed. I if you guys can get one to two tips out of this, I'm telling you, you are going to be leaps and bounds above other ever the other people because. I eat, sleep, and breathe, and sometimes I don't even sleep, but I eat, sleep, and breathe Instagram, and these are just things that I've learned along the way, but guys, it works. I've made, like, I'm not here to talk about money, but guys, I have made a lot of money and a lot of sales from Instagram just from doing these things like this, and you might look at this and go, dude, she's telling people to double tap about a fitness thing, but that's my life. So what I want you to know is how can you relate that to you? If it's double tap, if you know, if you sell t-shirts, if you're at a Teespring and you're trying to sell, you know, Chargers t-shirts, do double tap if you love the Charger. Double tap, like it doesn't matter. What matters is how you sit after this and think, how am I going to take action? And how am I going to make it for work for my business? So another thing is sharing the love, guys. Give shout outs, tag other people. It's more the more that you give, the more that you get back. I guarantee. Now this is an important part for, for me and how I make a lot of my money. User generated content. So likes plus comment plus user generated content equals engagement, you guys. So these are two examples. Starbucks and uh, Dunkin' Donuts, they did a contest. Contests on Instagram, which I'm going to go into, are huge, you guys. I want you to pay attention to this part because this is how you get your brand in front of people. So Starbucks, for instance, said, Take a picture with your Starbucks, use the hashtag sippy face, make sure you tag us, and we're going to give away free, we're giving away free coffees. Does anyone see how this is freaking awesome? First of all, you have to purchase their product first before you're even eligible for the contest. There's one thing, so they got one sale there. And then they have you tag them or follow them so that they're getting more engagement. They have you use a specific hashtag which is related to them, so anyone that searches can see a bunch of hashtags. And then the people, like I said, recognition, people are fighting for this because they want to get a free coffee, which they already have in their hand. But it's the competition thing. You know, Dunkin' Donuts said, take your, you know, coffee cup and how whoever decorates it gets a $100 gift card. Guys, what do you have that you can give someone? Is it a 30-minute coaching call? Is it a $100 gift card? Is it free product? I don't know about you guys, but I'm in network marketing. I get a lot of free products. So I'm constantly doing, you know, a... a Raffle or giveaway for in, uh, energy drinks. You know, here's some shakes. Here's whatever it is. It doesn't matter, guys. You could give away an ebook. Give away whatever it is that you have. But I'm telling you, people like people will trample each other to get your stuff. And I mean, Starbucks is doing something where it's like, hey, go buy our stuff, and then we'll give you more of our stuff. I mean, that's so cool. Asking followers to take creative pictures with your product. So. Here's why giveaways are so popular and work phenomenal. Guys, if you're asking people to tag a friend, you're doubling your exposure. So here's what happens. Hey, who wants free you know, protein powder? You're going to get a gift pack. Here's how you're eligible. You tag a friend. Well, what does this do, guys? You use a call to action. You tell them to tag a friend. It creates a ripple effect. So they're like, Oh, cool, I just got tagged. Well, I want a chance to win. I'm going to tag my friend. Then that friend is like, I want a chance to win. So they tag a friend. Guys, this creates a ripple effect, a waterfall, whatever you want. People like free stuff. And so if you don't have a physical product, give your time. I don't know about you guys, but I think a half an hour with me is pretty fun. Like, think outside the box. Don't, don't say, well, that's awesome, Charlize. You have free protein powder to give away. What do I have? Everyone has something, guys. But this is the kind of thing that gets people engaged. Here's three things that I really, really want to touch on, and this is a money-making tip, guys. You, if you're going to do a giveaway, which I strongly suggest all of you think of a way to do one, is that you give them a few calls to action. One, you must follow us. 
two, you must like and repost this, and three, you must tag us. Reason being, if even if they don't win it and they never go to your account again, they've either tagged someone that might be interested, you have more followers, maybe you post a picture at a later time that they're interested in, but what it is is you're getting more eyeballs onto your account. So uh, let's see, there's one slide that I did want to show you right here. So I did this recently and I said, you know, tag me and you know, tell me if you like this webinar. And so guys, if you're asking people to tag you, if you're asking people to mention you, voila, built in testimonials for later. So for me, for instance, I'm on this webinar right now and I can say, hey guys, you don't want to miss the next webinar, here's what people had to say about it. Awesome. And all it took was me asking people to tag me on Instagram. I used an app, I created this fun little thing, and now I share this picture with more people because it's proof. So what is it that you guys can do, if, whether you say tag me, whether you give them a specific hashtag, you're getting eyes on your account, people want something so they're willing to use your calls of action to do it, and then you get built in you know, testimonials for yourself. So if you don't have an online business, you're like, well, awesome, Charlize, I own a restaurant or I have a nutrition shop, cool. I've seen a lot of uh, restaurants that are saying, snap a picture of your food, we'll give you a discount. If you have a storefront, people are saying, check in here on Instagram, we'll give you a 15% discount. The coolest thing about this is there are no limitations to what you can do. Don't break the law. <laughs> I'm not telling you to break the law, but guys, there's really fun and creative ways to get your product in front of people. And the more quirky you are, the more fun you have. I mean, like Dunkin' Donuts, you know, put something on your coffee mug. I mean, who thought of that? But it's awesome. And they have thousands of people wanting that. And here's the thing, all it's doing is getting your brand and your product in front of more people. So um, here's, again, calls to action. If you want to tell people, you know, say, see the link in my bio to order. You can add, you know, a call to action to your to your pictures. It's one of those things. I, I hope you guys realize that there's kind of a theme. Throughout all of this, I'm, I'm telling you, from the second they get on my account to the second they get my picture to what, wherever they're at throughout my entire Instagram account, I'm letting them know what I want them to do. And I'll tell you what, it works. It works really well. <laughs> so another cool thing is, guys, if you have events, if you have a, a big company function, if you're doing meetups, you can showcase and use a photo map to show where you're at. So if you do have a brick and mortar business, this is flipping awesome. You can say, hey, join us here, you know, click, click the location, and people can click the location in your picture and get a map directly to where you're at. So me, I'm in the home-based business, and I'm always doing meetings at hotels or I'm at some event. How cool is it to put, you know, it, there's a lot of people that I know, like in the Power Network or, or um, Vicellus, whatever, it doesn't matter what company you're in, but you know how they have huge conventions? I don't know about you guys, but I always say, hey, I'd like to get, you know, I have a few extra tickets. I'd love for you, for a few people to join me. And then when I'm at the, the event or at the convention, I put the location there so people can click on it and find me. They can literally get turn-by-turn -turn directions to where I'm at. So this is awesome for a home party. Um, a lot of people are doing meetups lately. It's just a cool way to engage better with people. Now I have a lot of females that say, oh I don't want people to know where I'm at, I don't feel comfortable, that's fine, don't use it. But I'm telling you, if I'm ever having home meetings, if I'm ever at a large event, I absolutely utilize that because it's a, it's a no fail way for people to see where you're at and come get you. Once again, I use, um, I take advantage of getting my website in front of people. Now, when you use this function, I want to let you know the geotag. Oh, the geotagging function. You can add um, your website to the top of your pictures. Now, this is not going to be clickable for them. They're not going to be able to click on it. But the thing is, if people consistently see your website or they consistently see where I'm saying click this to buy here, click the link in my profile, here's my website, here's my website. They get really used to the visual part of it. They get used to connecting yourself and your brand. If you don't want to do it, that's okay. But I definitely take advantage, if I don't have anything clever to say on a picture, I make sure that I put my website in front of them. Okay, we're almost to the end, but I want you guys to really pay attention to these next few parts because this is where the business happens. 
So it used to be called Statagram and now it's called Iconosquare. What this is, is this is a free website. You, do, you go to it on your computer or your laptop. And guys, this is the most amazing free tool you will ever come across as far as Instagram comes. It tells you exactly what time you're getting the most engagement. It tells you exactly what filter people like the most. It tells you how many people have unfollowed you. It tells you what hashtags you're using that are the most popular. It tells you everything. It used to be Statagram for statistics, and they changed the name. I'm not sure why, but guys, it tells you everything about everything. I know, for instance, my highest engagement is Thursdays between 12 and 2 in the afternoon. I also know that if I post pictures and maybe I lost a lot of followers, I can tell you exactly when, I, when I'm losing followers. I can tell you what filters my followers don't like. I mean, this is huge if you ask me because if you're not seeing success right now on Instagram and you go and look at your statogram, it'll tell you why. Like, if you're, if you're using one filter the whole time and no one likes it, well guess what? Let's use another filter. So this is something that I use as a free business tool because I'm very calculated about it. If no one's looking at my Instagram pictures on Monday between four and five, I'm not posting pictures then, period. It's a waste of my time. So Iconosquare, guys, this is like my little business, free business hub, if you will, and it tells me, you know, I, as fun as Instagram is and as awesome as it is, I do this for business. <laughs> I like, Grant, I have six accounts, so not all of them are business, but the ones that I do make money off of, I don't just post to post. I post because I know, well, let's, let me reframe this. I post to post, but you can guarantee that my business posts are always around the same time that I get the most engagement. So this is something that I strongly suggest that you guys take advantage of. One, because it's free, and two, because a lot of other people aren't doing it. This is my favorite part about it, and I mentioned using a Bitly link. So, guys, this is how I find out exactly where my traffic is coming from. And as you can see, I was sending people to my Facebook group for a long time, and you can see how very long that um, URL is. Well, what I did was I shortened it, and now every person that clicks on that, I can see exactly how many people are clicking. Now, I took this one step further, guys. Now, and, and this is in my course that I talk about, I tell you guys exactly how to do it. I'm not going to go so much into it now, but I do go into it. So now when people click on the Bitly link, they get a free report. It's a free report that I give to them that's 10 steps to getting hundreds of leads on Instagram. Now, here's where a lot of money comes in. Guys, every person that clicks on that link I've now captured their email, they're now in my system, and they're now getting future emails from me. So I'm giving them a free report on Instagram, they're downloading it, they're happy, and now they're on my Instagram drip where I'm constantly giving them tips and eventually they buy from me. So... And Tarly, this, yes. Sorry to interrupt, I just, I just want that, that's such a powerful piece that you just shared with everybody. You know, if you're not capturing the data to remarket to those people or to reconnect with them, you're basically kind of like just throwing a bag at the wall and hope it sticks. You know, I think what you just said was absolutely golden, and, you know, I hope everybody really takes that to heart. Always make sure you're capturing some kind of data that you can reconnect with your people. You have to constantly recreate, you know, basically reconnect and give more value and constantly being uh, in connection with them. So, I mean, that is absolutely a golden nugget. Exactly, and so here's the thing also is I know exactly where they're coming from. I know, you know, who, what city they're coming, what time. I can tell you exactly how many clicks. But guys, now because these people click the link in my profile, they're they're on my list. They're if they don't buy from me immediately, I've just given them, you know, some free content. And this is another thing where someone could, and I'm only telling you this because it does come up to me. People say, oh well. You have a product, so of course they're going to click on it. Guys, once again, don't discredit yourself. Everyone has something to offer. Every, if you're in the travel business, give out an ebook for five tips to travel with children. If you are in the health and wellness business, give away, you know, Three, uh, three ways to make your shakes not suck or something. I mean, there's so many ways to, you know, create value and to, to give these bonuses to people. And, you know, 
A lot of people can say, well, I don't have an autoresponder, or I don't have this. Guys, there's a lot of free tools, and I would be more than willing for the Pick Redirect family to tell you guys exactly what I do. 99.9% .9 of it is in my course right now, and if there's any questions, I'll be more than happy to answer them. But guys, I generated um, just under 1,000 leads, so there's like 920-something on my list now. So I have a list of almost a thousand people on my list strictly from Instagram. No other source, not Facebook, not Twitter, nothing. I use one link specifically for Instagram. These people opt into my list. They are now on my list. A lot of them have purchased, but this is a huge money maker for me. This isn't something like I don't do this as a hobby, guys. This is this is something that n not a lot of people are taking advantage of. And even people, if they have their regular website on it, they're not tracking it. So don't be fooled, you guys. There's there's a ton of stuff out there right now that's like, oh, I made ten grand on Instagram. Really? Because I just went to your account. I can see it's just a regular website, so there, there's no linking to it. How do you know your traffic's coming from there? How do you know what people like? So this isn't one of these things where I'm trying to hype you guys up for a webinar or I'm trying to be like, yeah, make a bunch of money. Guys, this is proven. This is There's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. I know exactly where my traffic is coming from. I know exactly what hour they're clicking, and I know exactly how many people are on there. So. This is this is like the first day that I put it up, but this is an old slide. But guys, I mean that number right now is over nine hundred dollars and or nine hundred subscribers, and it's just from Instagram. So and, it, wow. go ahead. And Tarlise, really quick, I, I know you may not know because you have your presentation up, folks. What I did is I actually enabled it, so on the right side of your screen, you can actually take advantage of the product that she has, which she said Insta Influence. Uh, you'll see it on the right side. Tarlise, really quick, if you're able to, um, can you go to the page that it'll bring them to and we just do a quick walkthrough of what they would do once they click on it? Because there are a lot of people already taking advantage and they were just like, it, it, what's her product? And they, they heard all your hints and everything <laughs> that you have a course. So I had to put it up there. Um, so really quick, if you could kind of show them you know, hey, when they click on this, and also, so everyone knows, if you want to continue your education with Tarlis, which I highly, highly recommend uh, for obvious reasons, you can go to pickredirect.com forward slash Instagram. So pickredirect.com forward slash Instagram. Because you're live with us here, though, you can easily click on the button on the right side of your screen, which you'll see it says add to cart. Uh, oh, back over to you, Tarlis. Thanks so much. So can you see my screen right now? Yep, perfect. Okay, so yeah, so what you guys are going to do is this This is kind of just, it gives, there's some case studies on here. It tells you guys exactly what you can uh, uh, <laughs> uh, expect, <laughs> exactly what you guys can expect. It tells all the bullets that I go through. And then there's a bunch of testimonials. Like I said, this isn't just something that I threw against the wall. This is actually working for people. I work with thousands of people. And so you're going to click the, you know, go to cart, and it's just going to have you fill out your information. There's a couple more testimonials, and that's pretty much it. I mean, guys, there's, like I said, I, I'm not discrediting anyone else by any means, and I'm not, I'm not putting anyone down. I'm not saying anything, but this is something that I take very seriously, and I don't make claims that I can't back up. So I know I know exactly what sales are coming from Instagram, and I don't know about you guys, but I don't think any of this stuff that I've shared is spammy or pitchy or salesy. It's just sharing my lifestyle. But when I do say, hey, guys, check this out or look at this, everyone buys. So these are just a couple testimonials, as mentioned. Guys, I have... I do want you to know I have a group also on Facebook that's for people that have purchased the product. I have an Instagram group where you can get all your questions answered. So this isn't like a course that you guys buy and then you never hear from me. Um, I'm very hands-on with people because to be really honest, the more people I'm able to help, <laughs> the, the cooler it is and you know it, it creates success stories and I, I'm a huge proponent. Of, I very strongly believe that the more ideas you're able to bounce off each other and the more support that you can get from an amazing community, the better off you are. And so we have people in my Instagram group that are like, I just did this contest. Oh my gosh, check this out. Here's the, you know, and so it's really awesome 
to be able to not only you know learn yourself, but to be a part of a community of other people that are seeing great you know success. And so this is um, one girl that I worked with, and I have to, I told her I had to put this in because. This girl was like, I already know, literally, she said, I already know Instagram, I don't really need help. Um, someone mentioned your course, but I'm really hesitant to buy it. And then I, you know, she messaged me and says, oh my gosh, everyone's asking what I'm doing. I signed up a ton of customers this month. I keep telling them, check out your program. She had 1,600 new followers in 28 days. And the best part about that, guys, is she had 16 sales in 14 days, and she went from previously having zero sales, no sales ever, ever, ever on Facebook to 16 sales in two weeks. I don't know about you guys, but that's pretty freaking awesome if you ask me. So it's just these little things that a lot of times people don't think, hey, maybe I should use a call to action in my profile. Hey, maybe I should tell people what I'm about. Hey, maybe I should watermark my photos. Maybe I should connect my Facebook with it. You know, these are just little things that seem so simple. But I want to tell you, if you guys are looking on Instagram right now and you're checking out people's accounts, there's not that many people doing it, you guys. It's just not a commonly, you know, a commonly practiced thing. So I want to go through a couple questions. I already have Facebook. Do I need an Instagram? Absolutely. Well, you guys, think of Instagram as an entirely new audience. Is Instagram even growing, Charlie's? You bet. As I mentioned, guys, Instagram is shaping up to be the world's most powerful selling tool. And I didn't say that. Forbes magazine did. And I don't know about you guys, but I think they know what they're talking about. Will Instagram take a lot of my time? I'm really busy. No. Guys, this is just going to take a few minutes a day, and you can see amazing results. I do want to bring this up again, though, because we are internet marketers, a lot of us. We are, we are like want uh, results immediately and I just want to plug and play. Guys, this is a system that's going to teach you techniques. It's not going to be something that you're just going to do. I mean, don't get me wrong. People see results immediately. But I want you to practice a little patience in the fact that we've become so used to the plug and play where you just put a software and it does everything for you. Guys, these are tips and these are techniques that you can use anywhere. You don't just have to use it on your Instagram. These are techniques that I'm teaching you that you can use across all social media platforms. So once again, guys, let's connect. I did have a few other slides and then we're done. I want to talk to you guys about what not to do on Instagram. So guys, be really careful if you're purchasing bots. Um, these things spam, and it's a, a, a uh, Instagram is really cracking down on it now. So if you are using a bot and you're spamming a lot of stuff, you're in jeopardy of getting your account shut down. And so I don't know about you, but I've put a lot of time and effort into my account, so I don't want this to happen. So if you do buy a, a software or something, guys, make sure that it's coming from a reputable source because as you can see this picture on the right, people are selling bots for a dollar and I see it like $15, it's not. Here's the thing, no one, if you get a, an, a, a bot, it get your account shut down, you're not going to go to a person and be like, I want my dollar back. Or if they do, no harm, no foul. They don't care. So what these people are doing is they're churning and burning through thousands of accounts. They're making thousands of dollars. When the, when the person who bought it, when their account gets shut down, that person doesn't care anyways. They're like, see ya. I got a dollar from you. I'm out. And so be really careful if you're seeing all these, um, you know, fun things on Instagram and, oops, all these, you know, fun programs on Instagram about like, oh, you can buy this and this and that, but it doesn't work, guys, and you're in jeopardy of getting your account shut down. Another thing, and especially in our uh, industry, is guys, don't make income claims. Don't flash the cash. There are so many other ways that I've already showed you, and I show you probably 50 other examples in my course of how to get people to want what you have regardless. And so you don't have to attract the wrong crowd. And the last thing that I want to leave you with is, guys, please practice patience. Although I can show you a million testimonials and I can show you all the fantastic things that have happened, don't expect, even though it, it can happen, don't expect things to happen overnight. Remember when you first got on Twitter or how long it took you to build your Facebook audience? This is the same thing. Although I'm giving you tips that will produce immediate results, it is something that you're going to have to be consistent with. Consistency is what gets you on the radar and keeps you on the radar. If people constantly want to check your account to see what you're posting, what's new, what's fun, what's fresh, then that's how you build these relationships with people. So guys, please practice patience, be consistent, whether it be posting once a week or once a day, 
get a schedule and go through it. Use Statagram or Iconosquare to track what you're doing and scale it up. Make sure that you're telling people what you want them to do. And please, please, if I can ask you one thing, capture their information. Do not make this a one-time thing. You guys are missing out on a lot of money if you are. That's really all I have. <laughs> wow. da -da -da, that's it. <laughs> Thank you so much, Charlize. Just absolutely, uh, you know, just the golden nugget queen right there from Instagram. I just, I, I, my hat goes off to you. I can't, I can't say how much we appreciate you and what you've done for the group. And uh, you just gave out some serious golden nuggets that, I, I mean, I've had an Instagram account for, I mean, I don't know. You found me on Instagram and I didn't even know. I'm just like, what is this? I, I don't know. And now I'm just like intrigued. Like it was like learning first Facebook for the first time. Now I want to go and just like market on like really understand Instagram. So well, and, and like I, I told Robert, I said you know uh, you guys are phenomenal, and I I do have a report that I'm going to make available to to you guys just for you guys. That way, uh, I'm a visual learner, so all this is awesome to hear on a webinar, and I know that you'll hear it again. But I wanted to make something available to you guys, just kind of a quick sheet, like a, a, you know ten tips on it. Kind of like the, the report I give out to people, but 10 tips on how your pick redirect people can start crushing it today. I mean, guys, these might seem like little things, and you're like, oh, yeah, but I'm telling you, I, I this is producing amazing results. And although this isn't my full-time job, I could make Instagram my full-time job if I wanted to because it's just I position myself well, and I'd love to be able to teach you guys to do the same. Absolutely, and that, that, that one tip that you gave us about the hashtags, I mean, I was just like, oh my gosh, I can go ahead and do this work, and then I can make that same work keep going to the top for the next six weeks if I wanted. Yeah, I mean, and so, crazy. yeah, and a lot of people will use all their hashtags at once, and I'm like, no, don't do that, because... I, I, I bring stuff back from the dead. You know like on, on Facebook when you re-like a picture, you click right. it and all of a sudden it's back? Same thing, but a lot of people don't know that. And so some people are posting pictures and they're gone. I mean, right. it's it, it, they go fast. And so that's a great way, especially if a picture did well before. If you really Now that you know all these techniques, if you really want to get eyeballs on your account, perfect way. Just today, go add a couple hashtags and... Click, click it, and it's right there back in the news feed. Well, I'm just excited. I just added 530 new followers on Instagram. Thank you so much. I love it. <laughs> I just, I just want to quick If she's sharing this much value on the webinar, which is free for Pick Redirect members to be on, uh, imagine what's in the product. Like, like I said, before the webinar even started, we were on you know, the Hangout getting ready for the webinar and stuff, and Jason and I are excited to go through the product. And, and, I, and I am more now than before the webinar. Right. Really, I'll read some of my notes because, I mean, I don't just say to take notes and not do it myself. I love the fact that she shared apps that are effective, like Econo Square. And I know Jason, you know, uh, uh, came in and chirped in a little bit on that where uh, it tells you all the details of your following. Folks, it's not about, you know, what you post and that's important. It's not about, you know, what you're putting out there and that's important. But it's about knowing exactly what type of following you have, when they're online, when they're engaging. Folks, those numbers right there, people pay lots of money for with advertising. And most of that money is thrown away here with a simple app that Tarly shared. You know exactly when people are engaging. So you notice when she said, when I put my business posts out, you, kn you know then sure that I know when to put them. There's a reason behind that. Why? Because she has certain apps to tell her that information. Uh, another thing, and Jason, you mentioned that the hashtags, you know, i got to just say that again, Jason, because to continue to add more hashtags on current pictures, I thought that was huge, too. It's one thing to, like, link a picture with, like, one or two hashtags, but then to, to go back to it, it's kind of like adding more audiences to it because it's, it's being it seen. Is. By it I is. Love it is. I love it. Charles, I have one question. So when you when you add, and maybe a lot of people have this question too, when you add a hashtag to say something, uh, you know, from 30 days ago, and then someone goes in, you know, likes it or do the double tap, does that keep bringing it back up like at Facebook? No, it doesn't. Okay. No. So what it's going to do is it's going to, um, and you know what? I might make a video for this. Um, I was planning on showing you live on my phone, and I don't know where my phone went, but. Um, <laughs> Maybe I'll make a video right after this and put it in put it in the group and show you guys exactly how to be honest because 
What it does is um, it's going to bring it back up into the, the news feed of that specific hashtag. And just so you guys know how you add the hashtags is you just go to, cl you click comment and you leave it as a comment. So that you don't have to edit the picture or do anything. You just leave it as a comment on the picture. But I'll make a video for you guys and show you. I mean, there's there's so many ninja ways like that I get my stuff back. It, like it's ninja. funny though because... I love it though. I mean, these are just things that people don't think about. And, you know, for someone that was recently introduced to Instagram, or maybe you've had an Instagram account forever and you're like, well, I don't get any engagement, you will now with these techniques. I guarantee it. But once again, it all goes down to taking action. So, well, I've had eight people follow me in the last 10 minutes just because of me doing what you said. Eight people in 10 minutes. Jason, you beat me. I got four, but still, it's, it's that well, enough. I'm bigger on Instagram, but you're bigger on Facebook. <laughs> well, and, and one thing that I do want to say is, guys, with these techniques, because everyone's so worried about the number. I got 40,000. I got this. Guys, I don't care. The, the number doesn't matter to me. What I know for a fact is these are targeted people that are following me. These are people that are engaging, and these are people that I want following me. So someone the other day goes, Oh my gosh, I can't believe your personal account only has 8,000 people. And I'm all, those are 8,000 people that buy from me, though. Those are 8,000 people that care about what I'm doing. So don't get caught up in the numbers. However, using these techniques, those numbers are going to be targeted individuals. That's one thing. Without, without a doubt, I'd rather have 8,000 faithful followers that, you know, you put out a product or a course like you have now, and they purchase rather than a million followers, and they're all over the place. They don't take action. Really quick, I don't know if you guys caught this gold nugget, but I know I wrote it down and I just want to say it again. Did you notice how Tartlise actually on her um, Instagram uh, post, she puts in the description, see link in my profile to order. Who thinks that was so awesome where <laughs> it doesn't even necessarily need to be a link because sometimes people are like, oh, there's a link, it looks spammy. But she found a way, like a loophole and said, see the link in my profile to order. And how much more power does that have? Whether or not they buy from you or not, it brings them to your profile. You're bringing them to your home base, which yeah. like Tarlise mentioned earlier, they're going to scroll down picture after picture, get to know you better, may follow you. So really quick, Tarlise, um, we had a few questions, and I, and I yeah. um, was able to you know, take out a few of them that you know, we had a, a few of them. Uh, do you need a different account for each niche you're promoting? What would you say? Well, okay, so I have several accounts. Um, here's the thing. It's really what's comfortable for you. And, and I have several accounts because I use some for training, one's for my health and wellness, one's for personal. Um, it, it's whatever feels comfortable to you. But it goes back to consistency, guys. If you don't think that you can keep up with two accounts, don't start one because last thing you want to do is get people engaged and then fall off, stop posting, not engaging with people, and then you lose all those people and it was a lost effort. So um, me, for instance, that's why I put all the things that I am because when I post about my health and wellness product or I post about my MLM product or I post about, they, they already know that that's what's going to be on my account, so it, it seems normal to them. So it's really up to you. I mean, if they're completely different opposite ends of the spectrum, you might want to create another one, but if you create another one, make sure that you can keep up with it because uh, one Instagram account's a lot of work, two is going to just be more for you. Awesome. And then a question that I kind of want to get your feedback from, um, I know for Facebook it works really well, uh, but someone in the chat, you know, asked how effective is following others? And, and, you know, for me, I know that people appreciate when you follow them uh, and most people will actually go out of their way to follow you back, right? Would you say that's a, it's a very effective strategy as well? Thomas? Yes. So you want to know what's even better than that is, and I, I missed that slide, but so I stay up on Instagram stats a lot mm. and um, I just saw a recent stat that was out like a month ago, but they said that out of total engagement on Instagram, 90% of people like and only 10% of people comment. Mm. So guess what I do? I comment on everything because that sets me apart from the other 90%. So if you want people to follow you, go on a couple of their pictures and leave a comment. And guys, it doesn't have to be a paragraph. I'm like, that shake looks good. 
oh, awesome ride. Where are you heading? Blah, blah, blah. I, the other day I was laying by the pool. I clicked the hashtag poolside, and I commented on every single – I'm working. I laid by the pool and commented on every single person's picture that had poolside, and I was like, hey, me too. Guess what they did? They went back to my account followed me and commented on mine. It's stuff like that. The the follow's great, but the the engagement and being that 10% and saying me too. So like if you have a hashtag that you use, click on that hashtag and find other people doing the same thing and say, "Wow, me too." Now a lot of people will say, "Well, I don't want to connect with other entrepreneurs. That doesn't make sense." What who's your target market? Find your target market hashtag and relate to those people. Now, don't do it to a bunch of people at once because it's going to think you're spammy, but pick five to ten people from your targeted hashtag and communicate with those people. Communication, I mean, could you imagine you're, you're part of that 10%. You're setting yourself apart from the crowd immediately, and all you have to do is type a couple words. It makes a huge difference, you guys. Absolutely. Hey, folks, you know the value tonight was beyond great, incredible, and, and please, we see all the feedbacks coming in. We got Jeremy, Big Chips, boom. Uh, Lakeisha, thanks. Uh, we, we have so many good feedback, and I love this. And, and really quick, what I want to share with everyone, again, to grab your copy, you may see it on the right side of your screen. If you're watching the replay right now, then the link is underneath this video. Um, just to verbally tell you guys, you can also go to pickredirect.com forward slash Instagram. Folks, just think about it for a minute. If you're doing... You know, if you're getting the results that you're getting right now with Facebook or the social platform you're on right now, whether it's good, bad, or incredible, think about adding another social platform. And again, remember this breakthrough that I had personally myself where I said, what's the point of having another social platform when mostly everyone's on Facebook? That's wrong. And again, I just want to share, there are many people and audience that absolutely love Instagram, that are on Instagram, that most likely won't find you unless you have your Instagram as well. Folks, you can't get any better than not only having a new platform to create that income for you, but to have literally the best of the best uh, with Instagram, Tarlise, literally go in in detail in her product uh, once you decide to grab yours. So I would highly and, encourage and it. Yeah. Just to let you guys know also, um, there are a lot of Instagram updates lately. Things are constantly changing, like Instagram to, or Statagram to Iconosquare. Guys, I keep it evergreen. I, I, I've been told I'm crazy because this is a really cheap product. For I mean, they're, they're, I'm not even going to go there, but guys, I keep it updated. If there's any changes, I update the members area. Like I said, this isn't a product where I just throw it out there and I'm like, see you guys, I got your money. This is The price will go up, but I'm telling you, if, if things change, don't worry. If there's updates, if, if there's new software or apps coming out, you know about it. I make PDFs available in the, in the members area of my product where I give a list of all the apps that I use. I'm very detailed. And if you guys have questions, let me know. But what I want you guys to do is take some action today, not later, not tomorrow. Take some action today. Either create something, add those hashtags, do something, because I guarantee you're, you're going to see your engagement go through the roof. Absolutely. And, and uh, uh, go ahead, Jason. Hey, uh, would you mind putting a uh, post out there on our fan page just to show Tarly some love? I don't know if you've already done that or not, but uh, I really want to show her some love and appreciation for what she did tonight. I mean, just absolutely. I mean, uh, yeah, now i got to go through and watch it again. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, no, it's up. So everyone on the webinar, definitely do that. Uh, you'll see the post right on the Pick Redirect fan page. Let's show her some love. Also, you know, connect with her on Facebook. Connect with her on Instagram. Uh, if you didn't already, uh, add her. It's Tarlise underscore Rideau. Uh, it's pretty simple, just the spelling of her name. That you're only going to get better if you surround yourself with the right people that have the right information. And uh, I'm glad to be connected to Tarlise. Thanks so much for tonight. Thank Jason, you, Jason, last holder, Tarlise. And, you know, I'm, I'm, exo I'm excited, so... I'm just bowing down to the queen. I mean, the queen of Instagram. <laughs> I mean, what a pleasure. Absolutely. I love it. You guys rock. Let me know if you need me. Like I said, I, I'm happy to help you guys. You guys are awesome. And I just want, I mean, people don't realize what's possible, and there's a lot possible. So I'm, ha I'm here to help however I can, guys. Thank you Folks, so much. Thank you. Thanks so much for everyone coming out tonight. Have a great night. We'll see you on the inside on Insta Influence. Take Bye care, guys. Good night.